Since the dawn of civilization, man has placed seed in soil and added animal manure as fertilizer and grown spectacular abundance. In more recent history, man discovered soilless farming, using water alone to deliver nutrients to the roots of plants. More advanced systems would use fish waste to enrich the water returning to the concept of using animal waste as a way to boost plant growth in a more natural way. Soilless gardening is a viable solution to feed families living in endemic poverty. That is, except for those living in developing nations. The nutrient solutions needed with the hydroponic system simply are not accessible to the poor. These countries do not have an Amazon or Lazada by which to order the necessary supplies. And an aquaponic system requires constant monitoring and chemical testing to keep stable the environment for the fish and plants. Not only are these testing supplies inaccessible to the developing nations, but even in the wealthy Western nations, these systems can easily fail. This scenario would be devastating to a poor family and simply not worth the risk. But what if there were a way to combine nutrient-rich animal waste with hydroponics? This is probably not practical with most land animal waste due to the high amount of solid content in their droppings. However, bird discharge has a high moisture content that can be more easily dissolved in water. What we hope to do here is to experiment with chickens as a source of nutrients for a hydroponic system, thus eliminating the need to monitor a fragile fish environment. Bird waste as a nutrient source for plants comes with its own set of problems. However, there are viable technologies to sort these issues. We strongly advise that no one should duplicate this experiment for themselves, but instead we invite you to participate in our research by safely observing and participating with practical advice. Together we might just find a way to help poor families with a daily source of protein and nutrition and the ability to sustain their families giving them the gift of self-sufficiency, dignity, and pride.